to escape Hytale drama, Hytale developers have to just fucking release the game. They have built the new engine, and it looks like this. Slightly different. Bigger bushes, I guess? I don't care. I, I mean, the torch is bigger. That's crazy. I, how did they do that? How did they just exceed expectations of, like, this is, like, two blocks tall or something? And now it's lighting up more blocks. Everything seems, like, the same. Like, genuinely the same. The dude is even trying to say, oh, the rendering distance. I guess more crispier rendering i don't give a fuck about that right now i just want to play the game see if it's fun because if it's not fun we're not gonna play it <laughs> i'm sorry bro so the drama continues boys thank you for giving me 1.7 thousand views on here and 1000 views on here and there's more to do apparently it's just not gonna stop it it's gonna keep on giving i was like oh new engine gameplay released that's revealed. What is that? What is that even? Okay, fine. Gameplay though? What gameplay? Can I open the chest? Was the chest ever open? Is uh, Where's the pig that used to be in the legacy engine? What's going on? What gameplay? Uh, I mean, maybe there's pirate's booty in there that we can speculate about in that chest. But I'm... I'm sorry, bro. This is so fucking lame. That it deserves its own special video. So let's make a comedy stand-up about another Hytale Super Ultra Giga release of nothing. Because I just want to play the game for fuck's sake. This is the average Hytale fan. This is how hyped up they are. Hytale's new engine was just revealed in the first- Oh my god, another intro! First gameplay we've had in over two years. This is also the first footage we've ever seen, we've ever seen of the new engine that the team has spent years working on. Plus, we got over ten new images showing the completely over- We got ten images? Oh my god, we, we need those ten images for sure. That's great. They'll have a version of Hytale on the new engine that is more advanced than where it ever was on the old- yeah, and more insulting than it ever was. And while you take this in, the team state, we have spent years crafting the Hytale style. We have poured our passion and love for the genre into it. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel you, the stupid love that you put in. We will never know. We're just gonna see a blur of a bunch of fucking high-resolution things around us, and we will be deciding for a long time if it's, like, worth learning the fucking movesets and all the little things and being competitive in it. Are we just gonna build a house and be like, eh, actually, I'm bored and I have to pay taxes and stuff now. It really has been our mission, although no, no. You know, a good joke is like, well, my children will enjoy Hytale, and I'm not planning to have children, but I know for a fact they will enjoy Hytale. That animations on things like the torch and swaying grass don't seem to be, just isn't animated, and this light may even be... Oh my god, it's not animated, though. You know what the biggest problem is like you can polish a turd so many times but the moment it's revealed that the game is bad imagine that imagine failing miserably after putting so much effort after exciting people so fucking much and you can just fail right now by just you know being out competed by something else by their existing a Minecraft version that's way better than whatever could be promised right now. Because what's promised is just some generic sort of RPG stylification of Minecraft that's supposed to again be a hundred times better at being worse because it gets complicated, you know? Like, everything about Minecraft is already pretty complicated. How do you change a single mechanic like we need to know every single change you make to minecraft to the idea of it and uh, yet we only get to see screenshots i don't know if it's gonna work i think it's one of those games where people have to be involved in learning the whole thing very carefully that and accepting the changes and all that shit Listing uh, image layers will show the upgraded overall. We see the render distance extends further back, and items like the torches and bushes seem to have been enlarged compared to the old versions. Of the he says that the vi more vibrant colors. Are you sure about that, bro? Maybe. Dirt. 
Really has improved lighting. There's a deeper saturation. Saturation. saturation man. I don't give a fuck, man. It's such a uh, nerdy thing to do. Place shot of the differences between. You know the people who don't get hurt by this are just little kids who literally don't care. They're just doing random things, and when Hytale shows up, they will play it. Otherwise, they're just not gonna care. They. But so the funny thing is, no one's against me and my point of view. My point of view is very fucking clear. It's just frustrating to be like, oh, oh, you guys came back with the new engine to the same level as you were before? Congratulations. The same level of a middle finger to everyone. Oh, we're not going to give you anything but a fucking screenshot, right? So let's see. Uh, there's 10 screenshots of something or pictures. What am I what am I expecting? I'm expecting something ten times worse than actually is being promised because like gameplay revealed was ten times worse, so it must be some comedy skit right in there. Baked in there. Is blocked by terrain and they're and they're Again, what my what the appeal of Minecraft is is simplicity. I was looking for a game like Minecraft and I'm like, I just wanna mine things and explore and collect resources and sell those resources, but the selling part was not there, but it was still pretty cool, because while you're mining resources, while you're minding your business, you still have to learn how to survive. This one just feels too peaceful, you know, of a world. There's no nighttime where shit is gonna happen. You just get to explore whatever the fuck you want. So already, gameplay-wise, I know it's different, but look at all these, like, little things. How can you manage your inventory with all these little things and complexity, right? How can you craft with complexity? None of these is actually being revealed, even though that's the interesting part for me. That's the stuff that we can actually discuss for a long time of, like, how everything works. Not how everything looks, because that's a stupid uh, thing to talk about, but how everything is going to work. What's the progression of the game? Where where can you branch off? If that's how you want to do it, if you're not going to release the game, then at least fucking talk about how the game works. You have to fill in all these empty space after teasing people with the fucking trailer. And you have to actually have a development plan of actual updates the way you want to. Like, at least show competence. At least show that, right? But instead, it's just random. It feels like the block holes are blocked by terrain and they're ready to move on to the next big thing such as in oh next big thing oh what could be big fast and just a bunch of looks so all we're gonna get hightail is just basically some graphics engine just to look at of like oh look this blocky game is so pretty and uh let me pee in the fucking corner and go home it's so disturbing bro Improved so disturbing Look at all these shadows moving around. Like polishing old engines look while improving all aspects of it visually. And don't you worry for one second, the pig that disappeared is... It, it got butchered. You know, it got cut off the game. We will never see it again. Rip pig. Yeah, improved everything visually. Crazy, I love it. Except I don't give a fuck, man. People who worry about game graphics... They're insane. Trying to appeal to those people, I'm sorry, they like they're last kind of people to appeal to. So let me call about the graphics, let me talk about the graphics trap. Because that is the biggest trap you can fucking fall into as a game developer. So, you're a game developer, right? There's layers of people that you're gonna be reaching. And uh, it's progressive. People who love graphics, they're like the last type of people. They might actually be like the fucking edge of the universe of gaming. People who love graphics, I'm sorry, like, they're not even gonna stick around in your game for that long because they love graphics, so they're gonna move on to some th something else that looks good. Their brains don't have any reason to actually enjoy the game, the, the deep segments of it, so appealing to these fucking pieces of shit is the dumbest move you can do as a game developer. I'm sorry. You just have to find a way 
to appeal the most to these layers. Now, what are those layers? We definitely can talk about four of them. All right. So let's uh, see. I feel like gameplay is somewhere in the middle. Gameplay, right? The players. There might be competitive players. Or completionist, right? How about completionist? Of like, they want all of the things and all that crap. It's uh, why is this more surface than a player? Hmm. Maybe because of the higher expectations. Of like, there's actually things to complete. So completionist wouldn't actually touch the game unless there's a lot of things. And you can see like, Hytale is filled with features. So now it actually reaches towards completionist uh, group. Here we have the idealist just a person who collects ideas just give me an idea of like oh that's pretty cool that works pretty well i actually touched one of them with my card game i have summoned one idealist my friends who liked my idea and i'm like yeah thank you very much dude for showing up at my discord and so uh, the last one maybe there's like some kind of like memes and just fun stuff with like multiplayer right like m stands for a lot of things so here you go jimp that's since people asked what uh <laughs> what do i use nobody asked by the way what do i use to draw on the screen i use jimp but in reality that's that's what the progression is if you care about graphics as a game developer you're disqualified you probably should stop whatever you're doing and get yourself fired because there's multitude of jobs you can do as well you know multiple of ways you can screw up society if that's what you're into but holy shit, this is perfection perfectionism the moment we we have an indication of like because we have to know hytale drama is about a failed game 100% failed. There's no fucking re coming back from this because I'm already enjoying something else than Hytale. And you can find all these the gameplays uh, popping up on my channel. I'm exploring. I'm having fun. Of course, if Hytale releases fast enough, the drama does not have enough, you know, momentum to grab onto things and find things. But right now, this is a pretty fucking big thing that uh, cannot be denied gameplay i mean graphics people they're the worst we don't talk to them like uh we treat them just like hytale like you're not interesting to me unless you do something more interesting uh, i'm just saying than just appreciate the graphics of something just pretend that graphics have anything to do with the game as well like, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, you're gonna spend a lot of time. Yeah, it might be, like, 3D. And you don't want shitty stuff. But, like, if you're gonna insult Minecraft for not having good enough graphics... Man, you're in trouble, bro. You, you're in fucking trouble. Like, you're not gonna be friends with me. Absolutely not. Yeah, this is the greatest insult as well. Just existing in a graphical sense. So any game developer who also tries to appeal to these people are also in the same camp. And again, they're trying to be perfect. They're trying to get all these fucking things checked. Potentially, I guess. I haven't heard of any good ideas about Hytale. What are the good ideas? I don't, I'm not excited about it, nothing. There's combat system. That's all I know, bro. Uh, the, the play, I, I don't know. What are we gonna play? What are we gonna do? Fight bosses, I guess? Giant things? I don't like that, necessarily. I don't know how that would work in Minecraft. It's not easy to program. And completionist? I don't, I don't even know what the fuck they would be doing. They're just like, I don't know, farming or something? Play farming simulate? This is fucking insulting as hell, bro. But let's uh, take a screenshot of this. This is fun. This cake is unusual. I add the fifth layer. 
saying that this is supposed to be the last priority. Almost non-existent. I mean, technically, the last layer would be red. So I'm not, I'm gonna respect that. I'm gonna respect the progression of this colors. If you ever reach for the red, you will go insane. Because, uh, you know, I don't think, like, because graphics is not the most important part, it can get in the way of everything. You know, you just constantly just tinkering around with pixels. And you have a bunch of graphics people keep on delivering you graphics or something. Like, this shit gets in the way for sure. You can have just templates, placeholders. It's not supposed to be too exciting to actually look at the game because uh, you're supposed to work on it to make sure everything works flawlessly. And you're not supposed to just like show things, but that's the whole point. That's the whole point of, of starting with a trailer, showing a bunch of cool things of how cool it looks, but then it just retains the same look pretty much because now you're stuck. And now you... You're moving staff around, you're getting acquired by Riot Games. Like, there's a lot of shit that has to happen all of a sudden, you know. The moment you've graphically prepared yourself, but then still you have to keep pumping shit. Like, the graphics people are the most evil people of all. They definitely get in the way. And you know how? They add more things. You know, the, the, I have drawn this little pixie, please add it to the game. They're the fucking worst. Because they're not actually coding the game, they're asking for like this rabbit thing to be, be in the game. And be fully animated for the trailer or some bullshit like that. Oh, there's gonna be a fox running around through the snow. I have drew a fox. Please add the fox, because I drew it, guys. And it's like, shit, these people are pretty fucking evil. Whatever they draw has to be in the game. Like, do you understand how frustrating it is? And then you have this pig that disappeared, but like, oh boy. The reason why it was there, because someone fucking drew it. Oh, of course. Someone just put it together. Engineered it together. Of course, it's a 3D picture. It's not straight and easy to do, but... It, Holy crap. Add this pick to the game. I really want pick in the game right now. I will cry. Some fucking furry pig, bro. Holy crap. All means now, however, is that their artists can exponentially ramp up their ability to build assets that go directly in. Yes, thank you, artists. Thank you for making the graphics look very good. To the game, fans of fresh food here on the channel, but I've never been a massive fan of meal prep. Measuring out all of those ingredients can be really time consuming, especially when you want to enjoy your summer. That's when I learned. Look yeah, watching uh, Hytale news videos could be very time-consuming, especially when you want to enjoy other games and stuff, you know? Have you tried that? Have you tried... Reverse Uno on your stupid sponsorship, holy crap. You must understand, this is a cool move, because you might forget that this guy is asking for money when he's doing that shit. I already forgot. I'm like, just this is a normal thing that I watch in the video. I oh shit, where's my wallet? I need to give this guy money, money. Because he's all working so fucking hard, you know. Like he's he's giving us the news, man. <laughs> Collectively, Hytale has uh, like I don't know, six hundred thousand subscribers or something. That's a lot of people, man. Noodles and save me a bunch of time as this and all other meals take 30 minutes on this one. Uh, to save time, people use restaurants and places that give you quick food. Like, that's the whole point. Save food. You know, you know how I will save money? I mean, and time making simpler foods, bro. Dishes and stuff. Get the fuck out of here, but. These things are expensive as fuck, man. Whatever that you're selling. Ah, he doesn't say save your money, though. Nuh-uh. Save your time. What do you mean save my time? A package arrives that I have to unpack and I have barely understanding what, what that shit is about and I, then I have to learn a fucking recipe? Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Just make soup at this point. I buy soup in cans and I dump it and I'm like, shit, I'm having a good day. 
I buy a little bit of a chicken, cooked chicken, put it in the soup, and I'm like, I'm having a good fucking day. And whatever these guys are doing is just like fucking cringe upon cringe. It's also like graphically good, but holy shit is expensive. And it just explains everything, bro. Your sponsorship explains even more things than I expected, bro. I just wanted to just like, okay, that's sponsored. I'm just gonna lay back and say absolutely nothing. Oh, hello. So next we have to cover the big about them after my trip to Hyper. Hyper. Wait, this, this looks pretty good. Studios, but now you can actually see exactly what I saw. Oh, clip. oh. that's what I want, bro. But then it ended. I didn't get to enjoy it much. Massive, why not? I told you guys, I fucking told you! It's gonna be ten times worse. Not only that, we prepared for this! We prepared! Please add it to the game because I drew it! You pieces of fucking shit! There's just a bunch of artists torturing fucking, like, programmers. That's what's going on right now. I, I want to see the sunset and the eagle and it's like, wow. Get the fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck, man. We're gonna see all these ten fucking screenshots of the, the dumbest shit ever that someone has drawn. I fucking hate this, bro. Please add this one, and then, oh, I can make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And he has friends. And this one flies. Wow, what a lineup. Please add it to the game. Wah, wah. I don't care if it will take three more years to do it. Shut the fuck up, man. A whole had a massive upgrade. We get this lineup, a whole new range of nine evolved Skarrick forms, and we have three of their in-game models too, all of which look much more futuristic or kind of alien with bright, bright... Oh, alien. Oh, we're progressing so fast. Oh, look at that. Let's discuss every single model, guys. Starting with what appears to be... Yeah, let's fucking go, boy. Let's a fucking go. Head. Maybe hitting this mob in the eye is the key to... The key to oh, maybe... <laughs> Maybe the key to success and just hitting yourself in the fucking eye and stop caring about the graphics so much. Of course it is the answer to all of your problems, bitch. Feeding it, making this kind of defense very necessary. And one bright eye like the, like the Oh shit, he's not flying, he's coming out of the fucking hole. Oh that changes everything. I'm so sorry about that. No, it changes everything. He didn't just drew it. He's changing the landscape though, so that's a lot of programming in there. Locust. If this thing actually digs through the ground, which this art seems to imply, will likely act as the first line of defense for the Skarrick Hives. Hives. I hate it as well. Because, like, I don't like this either. Alright? I don't like multiplayer level of completion to the game. Because I'm not going to play with my friends. I'm just never going to play with my friends, bro. It's going to very rarely happen. Very rarely. I was almost playing with my friends, kind of, for like 10 minutes or so, or a couple hours here and there with one friend and the other friend. That was pretty cool. You know, it's not that deep on an experience, but I, I dig, I dig deeper into Minecraft. I just don't like the feeling of multiplayer being shoved into your face and having all these like evolved monsters really gives me the feeling of multiplayer of like, there's so many features that I don't need. I don't need that shit. But the multiplayer needs it because people will be very eager to flex on each other, you know, of like, I defeated this monster and I defeated this monster and we, we attacked this monster with like five people and all that shit and just like some dumbass shit is gonna happen that I don't care about. But this multiplayer feeling of Hytel also, just such a fucking cut and in, cut into the wounds that I already have. So I don't, I don't like this, man. I don't like this. Design 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 design. Design. And this is another reason not to release the game. If it's going to be heavily multiplayer, you don't want to release it. Funny enough, it's one of the biggest reasons. But this is the same reason as just like not releasing because it's, it has to have a game. I mean, uh, Graphics. I, I I keep forgetting. I have to do this. So you wouldn't want to release a poorly looking game, and you wouldn't want to release a game that doesn't have multiplayer capabilities, 
and doesn't look like any other MMO, pretty much. But that's, again, that's not necessary, not necessary for the game. You don't even have to have that. It just has to have meme potential. It has to be talked about. You have to have, like, super cool things happen in the game. And potentially you have to share it with other people to be able to get some kind of bonuses or something. I don't know. Uh, you can uh, you can cheese this system. I'm just saying. One big eye. It is nice to still see some semblance of the old creatures in the. I give it a seven out of ten, and I swipe right. This is so good looking face right in there. Face area. The enlarged glowing. Look at fucking face area, bro. I'm really glad to see uh, your face area being covered in this picture, but can we see the face area? Oh, we can't see the face area. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, we have to swipe left on this one. It changed the face area, guys. <laughs> Say this wasn't a mindless swarm of robots, but an entirely foreign intelligence with their own evolution, goals, and me. Oh, please don't that add that into my brain. I already have enough brain damage from other places, including just one one floor below. There's so much noise going on. I already have brain damage from that alone. Just being in my room. What the fuck, this alien? like creatures oh my god Means of communication they clearly inhabit orbits but their presence is still somewhat but their presence is still somewhat of a mystery for players and we wanted that mystery to be front and center in the yeah. yeah mystery is front and center you don't have to add more you don't have to it's just like it is what it is it's a mystery everything is a mystery right now <laughs> wow that design just imagining trying to beat these things oh imagine fuck you, bro. Me too, too. Yeah, I don't want to imagine. It's just gonna be hard, and I don't want to fight it. Just like I don't want to fight Warden. Nobody wants to fight Warden in Minecraft. It's the dumbest fight ever. I actually haven't fought the Dragon in Minecraft, and I haven't fought the Wither in Minecraft, because I also think these are, like, overwhelming, stupid things to do. A lot of things get destroyed, or you just very in risk of dying, and there's not much fun, and just fighting the fucking dragon in actuality the bigger the monster the shittier the game it feels like as well to pack a big punch and be more of the aggressive type or they could carry out completely different functions deeper in the yeah it's just welcome to the fantasy realm maybe or maybe <laughs> Maybe they will give me one minute of watch time, or maybe they will give me two. <laughs> oh, Why, these changes. They didn't want it to feel like you're like. Yeah, thank you for making shit so complicated. Can we move on to something else now, or is that the picture? Is that it? That's all we get. Just two pictures, guys. Are you excited about the game? You were just with changes. They didn't want it to feel like you were just encountering giant bugs. Yeah, we will be encountering uh, giant bugs. I hope. I'm hoping. All across the the world of Hytale, we just encounter giant bugs, giant game-breaking bugs. And they wanted you know? that they worked a lot on this revamp. They wanted to do this whilst respecting what people liked about the old versions of the mobs. Oh. I don't give a fuck about your stupid artists, bro. They're the crybabies. They're the biggest crybabies of like, we have to have this in Hytale, please, please. Before we release this game, I have to have ten billion evolutions of a fucking Scarag Pokemon that I just invented. Oh, the team have actually considered and done this with the essential for their bodies, their hives, and as their source of nourishment. So I guess I guess that. Oh, and do they go to the gym as well as the question? That's why you're seeing so much blue with these things. It's practically like their fuel. Let's call it Scarag fluid for now. The team, the team. Like the game is dying. The more I know about it, the more I fucking hate it because there's just more facts that I have to ignore. Someone is gonna pretend out there in the world that it's cool, whatever the fuck he just said. But I'm just like, this is just another useless fact for like three years in your head. Like, why the fuck do you care? This is not something that's actually gonna accelerate. The more you care, the slower the game development is gonna go for this stupid shit. It's the opposite. My causation of drama is actually gonna accelerate Hytale to be released in like fucking two months from now. 
Holy crap, though. Oh my god, so much art, so cool. They did quote, in particular, the new focus on so biolinescence helped bring home something that we've been developing design perspective. They said that the Skarricks are not psychic. Oh my god, thank god they're not psychic. What the fuck are you? Oh my god. We have to comment whether Skarricks are psychic or not. Bro, holy shit. What if... What if creepers were psychic all along and we didn't just ask the right questions, man? We would be so much more interested in Minecraft if creepers were psychic. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god, please. Please, I didn't thought this was going to be a torture simulator. Please, leave me alone, Scarex. For some reason, it, it rhymes with Arax. Arax. You have a lot more subscribers than I thought. Collect them all in this game, please. Efficiently forming a chain of command that allows for swift, sometimes uncanny feats of coordination. That's crazy, man. They're coordinated. They're just gonna like swarm at you at one player, you know? No, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be one player, isn't it? And again, if it's multiplayer oriented, it's another layer that pisses me off. It's just backwards thinking. That pisses me off. And the idea is just gonna be like, oh, Rome around just killed monsters. Like, what? That's it? That's your fucking game? What? RPG, but like blocky style? Get the fuck. I don't know how this works, man. I don't know if, if it works. And that's the whole fucking problem. We have to pretend that this doesn't work for us. We have to move on from this th stupid thing. It's not going to work for like 90% of the people, I imagine, because it already feels that way. It already feels like they're uh, appealing to the wide audience of people who are not going to commit to the game. You know, that's it. It's an easy commitment looking at pictures and discussing pictures. Easy commitment, but the moment you have to actually play and put effort into the game, is the moment people will be like, oh, I actually don't like it, I'll just gonna, like, disappear completely, you know? That's what's gonna happen. Because the nicest way to uh, get out of the room is to disappear. You know, nobody likes or cares about you anyway, so you just disappear. Make a magic trick. But, like, for fuck's sake, man, it's... Uh... I just wanted to click on this video and not be like, completely outraged by everything literally everything including the sponsorship nah bro nah give me that fucking brain damage so you're seeing it's a sophisticated system at work imagine, imagine no we're not seeing anything no we're not discussing this thing bro i haven't played the game yet we're not discussing this where's the what, what's the next slide gonna where's the third picture let's talk about the third picture this this one stuck for way too long when the the revel revelation of the new engine only got four minutes of screen time or something fucking four minutes basically and now we're talking about fucking scarex fucking garbage monsters for like six of like all these factions it's like this this guy is so fucking like deep in the lore of like oh my god what if this what if this god uh, fucking shoots lasers and this thing like protects very well bro like and it has like so much higher armor than like wow what if this fucking thing is like a thing on on top of his back and like it's a thing guys oh my god and what if they communicate because they're maybe psychic because like wow that's someone that something that has been asked because like there's a hive mind and like they they're organized Wow, and they eat blue fluids, guys. I, I know so many facts. Oh my god. So that's how they glow in the dark and stuff. Like, wow. Also, I farted. And like all of these different Scarret variants working together to surround and trap you and your friends. I feel, I feel Definitely not gonna trap me in this stupid fucking game since I don't have friends either. Holy shit, man. I, I don't know how long this drama can last because maybe there is no drama. Maybe I just don't want to fucking play the game anymore because it just says multiplayer things and graphic things way too much, emphasizes on these two useless garbage things that has nothing to do with the gameplay 
or the ideas that are being presented that are unique. You know, just because I can look into some new things doesn't mean that I will like the game. Or will I be patient enough to learn anything about it? I am patient right now, but all for all the wrong reasons, because everything just keeps accelerating me into re being repelled by whatever the fuck I hear about. Cool skeleton head, though. Post that in the, in the chat if you can. Feel holes burrowed into the wall. Again, the you have to, as a game developer, also think about, like, you're sort of making a sequel to things. You're making a sequel to a single-player fucking game. I understand Hytale developers have made a fucking server. You know, Hypixel server, and they care about all these people. You know, they care about all these people. But they have ventured in a, in a position where they have no fucking experience at all, it seems. They have negative experience for knowing how to build a fucking server. They have negative experience, occluding the actual important stuff they have to know about making games. They have not made a single fucking game that works. I don't give a fuck about servers in the first place. They're just like stupid mini games that barely fucking function. That you're gonna master and just move on with your life unless you're Technoblade and you're gonna be just like devout follower of these stupid mini games. I don't give a fuck, man. You're gonna play a few times and be like frustrated of like there's some over competitive people and you're losing games and it's like okay I, I guess I did my thing and like someone stabby stabbed and I I will hope I will do something else now. It's not fun anymore because I'm losing while someone else is winning. You know you have to make a sacrifice out of yourself. These people they don't seem to be building a single player game. I'm just saying. It doesn't seem to be also a simple single-player game at all. None of these actual features are there. Neither a quick release, nor the simplicity, nor the single-player focus is there. So what the fuck is there left for Hytale? What am I looking forward to? Just to fucking shit in the- dig out a toilet and shit in it or, or whatever? Just open the chest and shit into that chest, bro? Is that what I'm looking forward to? Just meme that stinks up the place? Yeah, thank you. Because holy shit, I want to stink up the place if there's glowing in the dark fucking bugs that will crawl out of the fucking dirt just to scoop up my shit into their mouth. <laughs> into the face area, bro. <laughs> into the face area. <laughs> Balls. We then see a tank tank balls pacing a player. The camera looking down at a huge hole. <laughs> <Just climbing. laughs> Put my shit into your face area, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, oh, Mr. Crema. You you don't deserve such glory. Uh, Dream came back. Did you saw Dream came back with all <laughs> sorts stupid shit? Oh my god. Holy shit. But actually, like, it's legit. It's a legit feature that you can put into Minecraft and you'd be proud of. But whatever the fuck Hytale is, is just the fucking <laughs> shit in the chest. <laughs> Make them angry. Make them pissed. That's what drama is about. Just ha ha. Ha ha. Are you angry now? Are you angry? You're gonna release the game though, right? Uh, no. Then you keep being angry, you piece of shit. You know, that's what the message for them. That's it. I know I'm toxic, but at least I'm not a bug. Also, please don't talk about vintage, vintage story. Story. Vintage story, guys. Yeah, it's there for some weird ass players. They're everywhere, and they're particularly awesome for a few reasons. Traders offer the player a chance to discover items that they may have not known existed. They can sell everything from food. food. That's cool. That's cool, though. I still don't care because it's a very, very complicated game, and I hate that part. I don't want shit to be complicated. You have to tone that down a little bit. All of these Skarrick fluid. We can also see Skarrick's climbing on these cave branches in the background. What? What happens? Well, we got another picture of more cave systems. We we can see this. Oh my god! Oh, just zoom in. Zoom. Oh, look at this thing. 
Oh. We have a channel that discusses pictures. Like it's like the greatest art of all time now. I mean, art it's artist's dream of any kind to just make pictures and people will talk about it with excitement and hype. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Of like, oh my god, there's this thing over there. If you zoom in into the face, face area. Single player. Seems to be a skull in this pool, so maybe this goo is toxic to the players. players. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this shit. But you may also notice the player is climbing through a one block tunnel. This style of I, I can only handle this for so much until it's just like, what are we doing here? The fuck is this? Mount, even using it to grow or cool. cool. Man, like, oh, I drew this, so now these Scarex have to actually do this. Oh my VJ god, man. Flying flying one. One. Where do we even go from here? Because. Oh, I can barely sustain this sanity that I have left. Depending on how we act and treat them. Treat them. But yeah, there's so many things going on. So many things, so many features. It's a multiplayer game, most importantly. It comes from high high pixel, the multiplayer developers and all that shit. These are not game developers. These are weirdos who prioritize the wrong things. This is why we're never gonna get the actual game. This is just the weird ass thing that's going on. That's potentially like extremely unstable as well. Since they have to make a new engine and remake all those weird ass features and Try to stitch them together and keep people excited. Ugh. I hate everything about this In game. game. Battles, bones, swords, even a leg which these two Skyrix are fight. fight. Do you see what these artists are doing? They're just fucking drawing a bunch of random shit of like, I want this in the game, I want that in the game. They just keep fucking going at it, bro. They're fighting for those legs of uh, developers and of engineers that supposed to put everything in place. It's insanity, bro. This is not a game. This is just some fucking artistic torture simulator. A business for artists that torture game developers. This is why, again, the game cannot come out because that's not, not what has been envisioned. We haven't done all of the 100% of things that we wanted as artists. It's just like as if they have the say into this, this whole thing. The artistry, the lore of every little fucking pixel that they draw of like, shit, what the fuck, stop. It seems like, like, oh my god, we're gonna look closer, guys. Most of these are actually arms or tentacles reaching out. Oh, that's so crazy, I didn't know, but when I look at closer, we got to see something that matters zero percent because it's not gonna be in the game because we can't just add everything to the fucking game, can we? Grabbing, ripping, and tearing different remains apart. Maybe these, these Maybe these are gonna be like the greatest things in the game. Earlier, it is clear that Hypixel Studios' vision for Hytale is becoming more. My vision for Hytale is getting solidified. Much more clear and solidified. With this, though they didn't show any footage of this, I'm pretty. Again, there's many reasons not to reveal the game, especially if it's multiplayer oriented. A lot of people are actually, again, not gonna be interested, but they have to like keep the hook so as many people as as they can, they just uh, get people interested by force almost, by just the time invested. From more blog posts like this. Like this. I don't know, maybe it's it's over. I might not talk about a high tail anymore. I unsubscribed. I don't want to. I don't want to shit in the chest that has been given to me. I could have went into the cave I mean, that's uh, lore right there, but there's too many bugs in the cave. So I just shit in the chest, and I get to see all the bugs crawl out and enjoy the freshly uh, served food for them. You know, we're not going to end the joke there, bro. Do you understand how cool the chest is? Do you know the purpose of that pig? Me neither, but the chest is definitely next to the cave. Mm, we got all that... Bug lore, we're ready. Pull the pants down, give me all that art as a newspaper to wipe my ass with, and uh, we're good to go. Let's finish this video, boys.
the system a less predictable velocity. This is actually why they haven't been able to... No, the reason why they didn't give us a release date to this point is because they want 10,000 more features than necessary, bro. Jesus Christ, man. That's why it's so interesting to look at Hytale because it has like a thousand features in one picture, apparently. But it's all of this is just so insane to me and unstable. The moment five people get fired from Hytale, the, the moment they get burnt out, everything just evaporates. The moment this drama just pulls down the pants of someone in the Hytale uh, team, I, the whole thing could just fucking fall apart. Because there's so much knowledge that has to be required to maintain the fucking game in the first place. What the fuck are these people thinking, man? Well, to give me, in fact, this post plus all of the recent confirmations from John are so big that we need multiple videos to break them down. Out. No, we don't. We don't need any videos to break it down. We're breaking up. In fact, not down, but up. So shut the fuck up, too. In the next one, we're down rest. And I'm done, bro. Again, I can just see all the cool graphics, so to speak, in any fucking MMO. And how long am I going to play MMO for, like, two weeks? And I'll be done with that shit. But it's cool. It's going to be cool for those two weeks. I imagine. Absolutely. We're going to see all the different size of bugs. Like, wow, crazy. But it's just literally just graphical garbage, bro. We can be friends. Let's go. Cyrix knows my every move. I just realized this is Ariana Grande song. Shit. I forgot and I'm supposed to be the fan. So it's not Cyrix that glitches, but at the same time... Well, I... I don't know, man. <laughs> Fucking hard. Man, this is a fucking killer blow if Ariana fucking comes down and be like, Hey, Hytale, we can't be friends, you with your papers and pens, you piece of shit. Oh my god. That's an insult that even I can't fucking tell you guys. Cyrix plus Ari plus K.O. Because, like, you don't understand. When Ari says this to Hytale, that means the entire song is dedicated to Hytale. Take it. Have fun with it. Enjoy the song, you pieces of shit. Creator with Ah, uh, Mr. Beast. Also pretty cool drama. Let's uh finish this off with the most obvious thing to do. Chill. Let's get another game in there. Somehow we will play a tutorial. What? Shit. What are we gonna learn? Damn. Okay. It's a game engine, let's go. You need to put a game on top of the engine to be able to play it. Fascinating. Oh my god, I can jump. That's crazy. Hey, I want it. Can I crawl? Like, genuinely? The mini-map. Fuck yeah, bro. Can't jump while on sticky blocks. Let's go, bro. It's not very well organized. Like, this this whole text thing is a little ugly. When text is ugly, it's actually difficult to read. I found a diamond. Very secret place you have there. Hmm. So what are you guys hiding up here? I want to know. Oh. Not much. Also, there was a whole ladder here. 
Come on, that's it? No, it's just a pool. I thought I was smart. Hey, what the fuck is this? A bunch of liquids with different colors. Whoa! This one's slow and slimy. The hell, viscosity, bro? She had me cooking bread again. Like the good old days. I'm supposed to collect 13. I don't know if that's gonna be success. Anytime soon. Uh, I'm missing five. And the diamonds? We don't even fucking bother with that. They really went and did it, this medieval looking thing. Number five. But there's a whole area down here. Fucking let's jump in and get stuck. I'm kind of scared. But yeah, either Hytale is out and everyone's playing it, or I don't give a fuck. Because I have other things to do than wait. Maybe I am stuck. And I hate that idea. Obviously. Shit. Should have brought more blocks. I can actually destroy this. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm not stuck. Let's take more blocks. This is so crazy. Am I receiving anything? No. Alright, cool. Because some of the glass you can't break, but that one I was able to. Alright, 21 blocks should be more than enough to scavenge this place. What the hell is this? Probably just gonna get some minerals in here and some mine, huh? But then I probably get diamonds and gold from this. Which is so frustrating. Hopefully it's not that large. I don't think there's neither here. Which is kind of crazy. Because now I need a new pickaxe. Alright, get the hell out of here. This is what it feels like waiting for a mine till you just like, Oh my god, I have to mine every single invisible block out. Just to see if there's diamonds in here, maybe, please? What if there's gold down here? Oh my god. Prison server experience, let's go. I will dig out all of these for the respect of mine test. Fuck it, let's dig out every single one. Especially the ones that I can reach. The top layer, probably no need. Let's fucking go, bro. I'm just digging blocks, and my uh, Hytale can't even fucking give me that much. You know? Just give me blocks to dig. So always respect people who have something to offer. And not something to tease with. Because what the fuck is that? Fuck it, I'll be able to build my own castle here. I actually did it. I found diamonds. Damn. Wasn't that satisfying? We all knew, collectively, there has something... There's gotta be something in there. Oh, crazy. The respect given back right at the last moment, especially. I deserve a tower, too. So that's what we're gonna do now. No stair blocks. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, that, it's limited crafting table for sure. Let's see if we can... Uh, ah, it's that place. One thing that you will always bump your head into 
is the inventory placement. All your items, all your hardware items are here and not down here. And I constantly bump my head, but I get reminded that, well, it's different. It's not Minecraft no more. Nine, there's 11. We're basically there. There's a, a crawling puzzle that I don't know how to solve. Like, I literally don't know. I crawled before, like, in the very first game, but, like... I don't know if it's solvable just like that. Wow, when you're creative and you collect enough blocks, you can use them to unblock yourself from all these walls and regulations, bro. This is the thing in question. I don't know how to reach this. From above, maybe? I don't get it. Like, I literally have to crawl through. Oh, Apple Snatcher. I can use that. So, two gold and one diamond is left. One gold left. Let's fucking go, bro. Oh, you just giving me that? Collected all the golds. Ooh, let's go. Travel each station. Go to goodbye room. I need to find that last diamond, and I feel like... It doesn't matter. We, we, we have that mystery unsolved. But we got just enough to know that it would take a long ass time to talk about that one fucking diamond. And uh, we don't need it. We got ten of them. It's like, what else would you possibly need? Uh? But, a little bit of exploration is fine. In fact, as luck might have it, we found all the diamonds as well. Except we didn't get congratulations for it. So that kind of sucks. I can't even remember where to look it up. But I need 11. So that kind of sucks too. Anyways. Let's find that goodbye room again. Please tell me the, about the diamonds a little bit. Oh. Is there more diamonds? Am I... Am I not deserving of uh, a trophy right now? I feel like when I got my first diamond, it explained to me. So what we can do... We can restart. And tell me about the diamonds. So I know everything. Twelve of them. Alright. It is twelve. Alright, cool. Let's uh, give it a... Five minutes. Yes. Oh, I have died and respawned here. What's wrong with me, guys? Why did I not eat enough apples? Huh. I think it's nice. I think I can give it for the viewer. I don't have to be perfect. I can let someone else do the job. If I feel like it. I think it's that moment. Although I do like being perfect. But it's just... Hard to comprehend, like, where the fuck else was I not exploring? I think every room is explored. I don't know, you can jump on my Discord and flex your uh, diamond trophy, because I can't fucking get it myself. See you guys next time. That was good.